Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to 5.30 a.m. Breakthrough Prayer with Pastor Earl McBride. And I am Prophetess Sophia McBride. And I just want to thank you so very much for joining us this morning. We are so grateful, so thankful that you decided to take the time and be with us this morning to pray with us and to seek the face of God. You know, um, the prayer assassins are hosting live breakthrough prayer at least three times a week now. And we are just so elated. Oh my God, what God is doing in the prayer assassins. We started this Monday with my daughter, Kayla Vera McBride, leading prayer, and it was dynamic. She's a young woman of God, and she is on fire for God. And of course, my husband and I will uh, be leading Thursday. We'll be leading Thursday mornings. Uh, it will continue to do that at 5.30 a.m. And then starting tomorrow night, yes, 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 we will have prayer every Friday night at 7 p.m. Yes, and our prayer leader tomorrow night is the anointed evangelist, Dr. Sabrine Matuwali. So you will be able to request live prayer Monday, Thursday, and Friday. Isn't that a blessing? Monday nights, Thursday mornings, and Friday nights. What a blessing. What a blessing. So you know what? You too can become a prayer assassin. A prayer assassin is a person who has been taught to pray effectively effective bullseye prayers that hit the mark every time. There are three components to becoming a prayer assassin, and they are prayer and intercession, and then understanding and operating in the prophetic, and then understanding and operating in deliverance ministry as well as healing ministry. And you will learn these things and so much more. And all you got to do is go and register today at www.sophiamcbride.com. That's www.sophiamcbride.com. Now listen, the classes are now 100% Free. The class is free. However, you do need to purchase your materials, but the class is free and we are pouring into the people of God like never before. You really don't want to miss this opportunity to grow in Christ like never before. So, you know what, let's go ahead on and let's just get to the word this morning. I, you know, I, the Lord, I just want to get to the word because you all have been on my heart. The people of God have been on my heart this week. I'm telling, just pulling and tugging, and we have been praying for you. So let's go now to our word in Job. We're going to Job 1. And you know what? I, the thing about it is I was in Job last week, but now the Lord has brought us to another place in Job this week. Good morning, Eddie. Good morning, Eddie. And I did get your message last night. Good morning, Letitia. As you all turn to Job 1, Robbie, good morning. Good morning. And Charles, so glad to have you. Hallelujah. Nick, that Pastor Nick, there you are. All right, let's get to the word this morning. We're going to Job 1 and we're going to skip so I'll let you know when I'm skipping all right all right it says in the land of us there lived a man whose name was Job this man was blameless and upright and he feared God and shunned evil he had seven sons and three daughters and he owned 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 500 yoke of oxen, and 500 donkeys, and had a large number of servants. He had to with all of that. 
And he was the greatest man among all people of the East. He was the greatest man of all people of the East. Now let's go down to six. One day, the angels came to present themselves before the Lord. Listen to this. And Satan also came with them. The Lord said to Satan, where have you come from? And Satan answered the Lord, from roaming throughout the earth, going back and forth on it. Then the Lord said to Satan, because he knew why he was there. Have you considered my servant Job? There is no one on earth like him. He is blameless and upright, a man who fears God and shuns evil. My God, let's go down to nine. Does Job fear God for nothing? Satan replied, have you not put a hedge around him and his household and everything he has? You have blessed the works of his hands so that his flock and herd are spread throughout the land. But now stretch out your hand and strike everything he has and he will surely, he said, he will surely curse you to your face. The Lord said to Satan, very well, then everything he has is in your hand, but on the man himself, do not lay a finger. Amen. And then Satan went out from the presence of the Lord. And we're in 13 through 15. And I'm going to paraphrase. The word tells us that Job's oxen were stolen and his servants, who you know, who cared for the oxen, were killed. Look at this. All but one. Go to 16. Then another servant runs in. Okay, while Job is receiving bad news, another servant comes in and tells Job that now they're telling Job his sheep are dead and the servants that cared for them are also dead. All but one, of course, right? The one that's telling him the bad news. And then at 17, another servant comes in and tells him all of his camel have been stolen and the caretakers of the camels are dead too. All right. So when you think it can't get any worse, it just can't get no worse. It just is absolutely no way for it to get worse because at this point he's lost his wealth. Okay. But when you think it can't get any worse, in verse 18, another servant comes in and delivers the news that all 10 of his children are dead. So not only has Job lost his wealth, now he's lost his lineage. My God, my God. <laughs> when he thought nothing else could happen, another servant comes in the only one that was left from this bad situation to tell him some more bad news. And I'm in 20. At this point, Job got up, tore his robe, shaved his head. Listen to this. Then he fell to the ground in worship. Job fell to the ground in worship, even though he was going through all of that, he had the mind to fall to the ground and worship. And he said this, naked, I came from my mother's womb and naked will I depart. Basically, he was saying, I came here with nothing. I leave here with nothing. The Lord gave, gave and the Lord taketh away. 
and the name of the Lord be praised. In all this, Job did not sin by charging God with wrongdoing. Because when things happen, the first thing people tend to do is blame God, but not Job. It says in all of this, Job did not sin. He did not charge God with wrongdoing. Now let's go on down to Job 2. And I'm going Job 2, 7 through 9. Hallelujah. Satan, come, Satan comes amongst the angels again and goes through the same song and dance as he did before with the Lord. And the Lord said to Satan, very well, then he says, he's in your hands. He tells him, God, Job is in your hands, but you must spare his life. So in seven, so Satan went out from the presence of the Lord and afflicted Job with painful sores from the soles of his feet to the crown of his head. Then Job took a piece of broken pottery and scraped himself with it. And he sat among the ashes. And then his wife said to him, are you still maintaining your integrity? Curse God and die. And he replied, you are talking like a foolish woman. Shall we accept good from God and not trouble? Listen, I don't know about you, but this week has been a very, challenging week. For the last three days, my husband and I have been awakened in the early morning hours with emergency prayer requests. Our hearts have been so heavy for the saints of God, and even in our own personal lives, we are experiencing great challenges. We have literally been praying nonstop and sending up supplication after supplication after supplication for the people of God crying out and begging, literally begging God. That's what supplication is. We were begging God for miracles to manifest in the lives of his people. And as I prayed and, and as we prayed and asked God, what do you want? What do you want us to do, Father God? And then as I prayed and said, God, what do you want me to share with your people this week? All I could think about was Job again. I thought about how Job literally lost everything he owned and loved and somehow, somehow, still managed to show the utmost respect for God. God, my God. At one point, Job felt absolutely positively alone because his wife temporarily lost her mind and no longer trusted God. And how many of you know when someone hates what you love, that causes a major rift in your relationship? Job's so-called friends were looking at him funny. We talked about that last week because they were waiting for the truth to be revealed about Job's lifestyle. They just knew that there was some, some, some sin lurking in secret. 
But Job, even in all of that, Job never wavered in his faithfulness towards God. But what stands out the most, what stands out the most in these passages of scripture is that Satan boldly came amongst the angels and presented himself before God. He had the nerve to stand before God and look at this. And God did not become irate. Satan had the nerve to come before God. But see, our God, he didn't even become irate. He offered, uh, instead, he offered up Job. He offered up Job to be tried by the fire. So Satan received permission from God to afflict Job and caused Job to lose everything while suffering unimaginable physical pain and sickness. God allowed it. God gave Satan permission to afflict Job. Did you hear what I said? God gave Satan permission to afflict Job. Now, when I was in Sunday school as a child, they never tell us that part. They never told us that God gave, gave Job permission. They just told us about how Job suffered. But I have a question. Are you like Job? Are you like Job today? Has God given Satan and his cohorts permission to afflict you? Are you Job? Has God said to Satan, have you considered my, say, my, my servant, Tiffany? Have you considered my servant, Hope? Have you considered my servant, Stephanie? Are you like Job this morning? Oh, my God. Have you tried to live your best, your best life? Have you tried to live holy before God? Have you experienced blow after blow, pain upon pain, loss upon loss? Have you been brokenhearted? Have you been rejected, talked about, abused, used, forgotten about? Have you lost your zeal for life because the pain never seems to end? In fact, I believe that there are some of you that are watching right now that have contemplated suicide because you just want the suffering to end. You just want the pain to stop. If I'm talking to you this morning, the Lord told me to tell you to go back to the word of God again and remind yourself about Job's story and how Job's story ends. God said to let you know that if I have allowed you to come to it, I, he said, will bring you through it. If I allow you to face it. It cannot break you. If it was stolen, then the thief has to return to you sevenfold. See, this is the word of God. If you lost it or surrendered it, for the sake of Christ, it will be returned to you a hundredfold in this life and in heaven. He said, just as Job in 42, 
in Job 42, 12 through 13, just as Job received double plus some for his trouble. And he received joy for his pain. You too. I said, you too, that faithful, that God fearing, God loving, God trusting one, that God submitting one, that God obeying one, that person, the one I'm talking to right here, you, you will receive double plus some for your trouble. God said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Stand firm, he said, and in due season. Stand firm, he said, and in due season. You shall reap if you faint not. You, I'm talking to you this morning. This word is for you. Yep, you. Hallelujah, you. He said, you shall reap if you faint not. Hold on to your faith. Don't let go. God is here and he is moving on your behalf. God hears you. God sees you. And he is going to move on your behalf. Don't be weary in well-doing. Hallelujah. You shall reap if you faint not. You shall reap if you faint not. Praise God. Hallelujah. Lord God, we thank you for your word this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, your people have been going through. And I thank you, Father God, that you love them enough. I thank you, Father God, that you, you love them enough to give them a word and to encourage them and let them know, hallelujah, that you hear them. You have not forsaken them. Hallelujah. You have not forgotten them. Praise God. You are here. Hallelujah. And they shall reap if they faint not in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And God said, you shall receive double plus some for your trouble. Praise God. Hallelujah. We want to pray for you today. There's some things that's on our heart this morning that we really want to pray for you. Some things that God, hallelujah. Let, let me tell you one of them. One of them is this spirit of suicide and despair and depression that is trying to take over our nation. And what God put in my heart is, you remember, I, I, I said this before, how cancer, there was a time where we, you, could, you didn't even know anybody hardly that had cancer, but now cancer has become this master ruling thing, having this ruling spirit. But, but I believe that this spirit of suicide, this spirit of despair, this spirit of depression, is trying to take root like cancer and become a master ruling spirit. But Satan, we rebuke you in the name of Jesus. We rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We rebuke you. You want to take over our young people. You want to, to cause them to be in depression and live in despair. But we forcefully reject you in the name of Jesus. We forcefully reject the spirit of suicide and murder. Hallelujah. Despair and depression in the name of Jesus. We forcefully reject you in the name of Jesus. We send you back from which you come in the name of Jesus. You are a liar. You are a liar and the truth is not in you and we rebuke you 
in the name of Jesus. Take your hand off of our youth. Take your hand off yes, of our yes, family. Yes, Take your yes, hand yes. off of the people of God. Hallelujah. Yes, in the name of yes, Jesus. Yes. The word of God is alive. And Lord God, hallelujah, we apply the word, the word, the word to our lives in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We rebuke death. We rebuke every lying spirit that comes to and speaks in your ears. Shut your mouth, say. We cut out your tongue. We rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And we don't receive anything you have to say. We command you to cease and desist. Of these young people in the name of Jesus. And the old. Hallelujah. We rebuke hopelessness in the name of Jesus. We command you to go in the name of Jesus. We rebuke despair. Disheartedness. We command you to go in the name of Jesus. Come on and share. Hallelujah. Come on and share this word with your friends. Come on and share. Come on and send me those hearts. Come on and let me know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Did you hear what thus saith the Lord? And that you are in agreement with us as we pray for the people of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you know, so when you was uh, when you was praying, ah, she I just I I know that it is the enemy's mm -hmm. desire yes. for us to just give. Up. Yes, he that's exactly what he, just, he wants. He just wants us to give up, to throw in the towel and say, enough is enough. I give up. Because he understands that if you give up, you forego hey. the, the future that God has for you. So if he My can get God. you to throw in the towel, to My give God. up, My God. then he knows that the future that God has for you will not come to pass. But I come against that spirit in the name of Jesus, that spirit that causes one to give up. It is like you said, a spirit of this of despair. Of despair. Right. But, but but you know what? When you said that just now, you know what? He, when he they, he wants you to give up and let it go. What he wants you to give up and let go is your double plus something. That's right. That's, That's right. what he right. wants you to give up. He wants them to give up. They double plus because you because in the word in Galatians, like you said, Galatians six it said. If if we don't fight, we will reap. reap. We will reap. reap. So all the seeds hey! that you've sown, all the sacrifices that you've made, you will forgo the My reaping, God. the return My of God. those sacrifices if you throw in the towel. That is why he is so committed to having you give up on hey! your future and give up on God's plan and blessings for your life because he wants you to forgo the reaping. He, yes. he wants you to go. He don't, want you to, have he don't want you to have the harvest. Oh he don't want God. you to have the blessing. Hey, he don't want you to have the favor. Hey. So he just thinking if I could just give him or her to give up in the process, mm. it will be as if all those that all of those sacrifices, yes. all of those seeds planted uh -huh. were placed in vain. Look at this. He wants you to give up your heritage, your uh, inheritance. He uh, wants you to give up your inheritance. Uh, oh, oh, no. Mm. I can't give up my inheritance. No, 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 no. You can't do it. You can't do it. See, that, that heritage also means those that will come after you. Oh, my God. Yes, yeah. He, my chill. He wants you. That's right. Because if, if you throw in the towel now, yes. it affects your children for reaping what you my have planted. God, my God, my God. So we, we just, we come against that spirit of despair. And you know, it's always a lying spirit that's connected to any other spirit because uh -huh. that lying spirit wants you to believe that you don't have, that you are in a hopeless situation. Yeah. That lying spirit wants you to believe uh, that all that you have done means nothing. Yes. That lying spirit wants you to believe that you will never see the harvest of your seed. Mm. But the word of God says that if you faint not, if you faint not, if you don't give up, 
you will reap. You will Hallelujah. Reap. And in that reap, in that Hallelujah. reaping, Hallelujah. in that reaping, uh, there is there is uh, blessings. In that reaping, there are favors. In that reaping is healing. In that reaping, there's deliverance. Yes, in that reaping is promotions. In that ah, uh, in that reaping, uh, it take God takes you from one place to another place. But you have to sow. You have to be steadfast. You have to be willing to wait and not give up because that's what it's about. Not yeah. it, it's about you waiting for God to allow that harvest that you have sowed for, that you have sacrificed for, to come to pass. That is why he is trying to get you in that process from the sowing to the reaping. All he desires to do is to cause you to give up because if you give up, you'll never make it to the finish line. You'll Woo! never get the gold medal. Hallelujah. You'll Hallelujah. never get uh, all Hallelujah. of the things of your heart. You'll never get the, the desires of your heart if he can get you to give up. That's why we that that is why that word was I want so you good. To pray, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, for the saints of God, Hallelujah, to have to hold on to the word, to the word, to the word, and to their faith. That pray that the saints of God, Hallelujah, would not Hallelujah. Would hold on, Hallelujah, to the word and to their faith, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, even now, O oh God. I pray for the people of God. God, we know that it is in, it is the desire of the enemy for us to give up, to forego the harvest that you have for us. And God, I pray even now, I pray God that they would uh, grab on to the word that has been spoken over their life. Yes, I Jesus. pray, oh God, that they would they would embrace and not let go, oh God, the promises uh, that your word says, Thank you, that, Jesus. That, that your word says regarding them. I pray in the name of Jesus and by the Thank power you, of the Holy Spirit that they will be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in your word, because it is your word, oh God, that will allow them to stand firm and not waver, knowing uh, that their labor will not be in vain. So God, I pray, I bind that spirit of despair in the name of Jesus, and I pray, oh God, that they receive the joy, the joy that comes from you, the joy that not, that not, that cannot come from people, yes. the joy that cannot come from things, but the joy that can only come from you because we know the joy of the Lord is our strength. We know, God, that we are strengthened well, by the joy that you release to us. So I pray now that joy is released so they can hang on. Yay! Hang on until they are able to reap the yes. harvest that you have for them. I pray this Jesus. now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Listen, I want y'all to start Hallelujah. typing your prayer requests, but there are uh, some people, things that we have been praying this week, honey. I want to call them out. I want to call them out over the air, these, these frequencies yes, of yes, the air. Yes, yes, we are yes, believing yes. God Hallelujah. for some major things. Hallelujah. 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 Some miracles shall manifest. Hallelujah. We have been declaring Hallelujah. it all week. Yes, we, yes, are, yes. we have been fasting and believing God, not yes. just us. I'm talking about these mighty prayer yes, assassins yes, yes, have been have. on yes, the case have. this week. Yes. Hallelujah. Heaven let up because we Hallelujah. God has called us to this thing. You understand? Hallelujah. But your, your cousin uh, Eddie said me a message last night and he said to pray for his friend's son his friend's name is maxine mm -hmm. and uh, her son was in an accident and he said pray that he will recover even now oh god we thank you god that, that you kept uh death 
back, oh God, and that you allowed a Maxine's son to live. Now, God, we pray uh, that the healing virtue of Jesus Christ will be released. And I pray, oh God, uh, that you would not only heal him physically, but I also pray, oh God, that you would heal him emotionally, oh yes. God, to let him know, oh God, that this was not this was not cause or, 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 or something that uh, you that you put on him, but God, it was something that was result of just sin in general yes. being in the land. And I pray God that as he is, as his healing is manifesting, I pray, oh God, that you would send ministering angels to minister to him so that he can draw closer to you. I pray God that you would use this, this trial, this challenge, oh God, uh, to cause him and his family to even seek you more in the name of Jesus. And I thank you now, God, for the testimony of how you brought him through. So God, we pray now your peace will be released. And I pray, God, that he would be strengthened, oh God, by your healing, that he would fully recover, God. And I pray, God, that he will then, that he will submit your to your will for his life and that he will live his life to give you and you alone all the glory and praise. I pray this now in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Bless God. And um, I want to, good morning. I see that Dawn is with us. Oh, Dawn is so faithful and so is Mona Lisa. We just thank God for them. They're here with us this morning. And I saw Tamara and Namaka. Bless you all. Um, woman of God, Keisha White. Yes, God. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Those I can, That's what I can see right now. Mm -hmm. Bless you. Bless session. you. Bless yeah. So, um, oh, Benita Hayes is watching. How are you doing, honey? It's good. I'm glad you're here. And Michelle. All right. So I want to pray for Victoria. Now we have been yes, Lord, yes, yes. calling Victoria, yes, yes, Victoria, yes, yes. Victoria, Victoria. And we're going to pray again. Victoria, we declare that you shall live and not die. Even now, God, we just call out the woman of God. We know that you have destiny yes. for her. Uh, and so, God, we thank you that her name is appropriate of who she is, for she is victorious. She has the victory over every challenge, every attack by the enemy to hinder her from fulfilling your will for her life. And so, God, I pray right now as she is in that hospital, I pray, oh God, that uh, all, all the things that need to happen, ah. oh God, for her healing to oh, yeah. manifest, I pray they will happen yeah, now. Yeah, I pray, oh God, yeah. I just pray, oh God, uh, that the swelling will go down in the name of Jesus. I pray, oh God, that even as she is in the state that she is in, I pray, God, that you are speaking to her, oh God, and letting her know how much you love her. And I just yes. pray, oh God, I it, 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 that she is, that her spirit man is just getting stronger and stronger, and stronger. in the hey, name of Jesus because she is getting prepared, oh God, for the testimony that she will release so that hey. others out of there can come into the knowledge of Jesus Christ because of her witness. So God, I pray now in the name of Jesus and by the power yes, of God. the Holy Ghost, I pray that her healing would come forth. I pray victory Come forth, victory! Come forth! I know your name is Victoria, but you are, have, but you have victory. You have victory. You have victory, and we thank God for giving you the victory by way of His Son Jesus Christ, according to First Corinthians. 1557. I thank you. And so, God, we just continue to call on the name, oh God, because yes. we know that by Jesus' stripes, she Jesus. is healed. And not just healed, but she is restored completely mm. and totally in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Jesus. Ho, ho, ho. Hallelujah. Be healed. Hey, cool. Hallelujah. It's, it's like healing that one issue. Uh, you made uh, God does a complete work. Just like just like that uh, leper. That, that leper, leper, that uh, leper, uh, that one that leper one. that came back. Yeah. He, God. Was, he healed the ten. Yeah. But he made that one whole. Ah, uh, she's being made whole in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, and I'm when excited. I think about her, when Hallelujah. I think about her, Hallelujah. I feel like God gave us the answer for the beginning. Yes. Her name is it's victory. victory. It's victory. So it's in her name, there's victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And she shall live and not.
not and die. not die in the name in of, the name and of not Jesus. just live like but live yes that abundant yes, life yes, the abundant life the other day we were in the class in the prayer assassin class and um we were talking about you know how, how living holy mm -hmm. and i said living holy is not boring and one of the assassins said no we just like to live yeah. I believe it was her, Shana. And I said, that's it, her, Shana. We like to live. Uh, we like to live in the abundance. The abundance. Hallelujah. Uh, There's nothing boring yeah, about yeah, living yeah. abundantly in Christ. in Christ. I don't need alcohol to do that. No. I, I, I don't need drugs to do no, that. No, no. I don't need that in order to live no. in the abundance. abundance. Uh, of God. Okay. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Hallelujah. Regina, for coming on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our, our Linda. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for being here this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, my Hallelujah. gosh. Thank Hallelujah. you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And if you could call out Chase. Yes, that was on my mind. Yes, yes. God. Uh, and, and, and Father God, I pray thank for you, the man Jesus. of God. I, I thank Hallelujah. you for Chase, God. I thank you, oh God, that every diagnosis that was given, it is being reversed hey. right now. In the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost, I thank you, oh God, that he will live uh, an abundant life. I thank you, oh God, uh, that he will uh, be successful in the things of God. I thank you, oh God, that this attack by the enemy to come against him, oh God, uh, to come against this. My, I thank you, God, uh, that it has failed. He, he too is victorious. I thank you, oh God. I thank you, God, uh, that the challenges that he is facing right now, that it would just be a, a stepping stone, oh God, to the future that you have for him. And so, God, I pray now, I speak peace to his parents. I speak peace to Chase. And I pray, God, even as I am praying, I pray uh, that he, that that your peace, God, is overwhelming him. Your peace, God, is overtaking him. And I thank you, God, for clarity of thought. I bind the spirit of confusion. I bind a big corrosion. I bind the spirit of doubt. Yay. Doubting, oh God, your plans for his life. Doubting, oh God, that you're going to heal him. Doubting, oh God, that he will not get past this challenge, this obstacle. But God, I thank you, a that greater is he that is in him than he that is in the world. And because you are greater, a he will fulfill his purpose, uh, your purpose for his life. And God, I pray healing. I just pray healing be released to him now in Jesus' name. And I thank you, Lord, that the doctors will have to come back and say, we got it wrong. We got it wrong. And we apologize for the inconvenience we have caused by the erroneous report because his, his diagnosis is that he is healed. His diagnosis uh, that he is free out of the book because who the son has set free is free indeed. So God, we thank you now in Jesus' name. We pray, Amen. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. 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 Our Linda just sent us a message. She said, "My husband just had a stroke on Monday. He's in the hospital and he's better, but real weak on both sides. Please pray. Thank you." Hallelujah. Uh, even now, uh, we lift up the woman of God, or Linda's husband, God. Uh, we pray, God. Uh, we know that you are yet healing, uh, God. We're, we're, we know that you created us, oh God, so that naturally uh, we be, our bodies heal. But God, we're praying for a supernatural healing that only you can provide only you can release so i pray even now as the man of god it is as he is resting i pray oh god that he that his strength is restored on both sides i pray that there will be uh no uh no uh, side effects uh oh god or um uh be cool, or lingering issues oh god uh from his stroke but in i pray with his vision uh in particularly with his vision oh god but i pray god i pray that you again being a God that heals us in totality. I pray, God, that you would heal every every element 
uh, of his body that the enemy tried to attack but fail, O oh God. And I just pray that he would be strengthened. I pray, O oh God, uh, I pray that even when the woman of God sees him today, he yeah. will have a, 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 such a light in, in uh, such a light in his eyes, uh, a sparkle in his eyes because of the fact that he had been touched by you, oh God. And we thank you, God, that he is completely, he will be completely restored in Jesus' name we pray. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Dry up any blood that may be in the brain, yes. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for peace over his brain, over his mind. Hallelujah. Lord, straighten out his hands and straighten out his arms, straighten out his body, oh God. Hallelujah. Restore strength, oh God. And Lord, speak to him, even while he lays there, oh God, minister to the deep things of the heart, Father God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, 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 I see Samantha um, Mitchell on the line. Hi, I see Samantha here. And Lord, I, I, I just kept hearing Samantha, Samantha, Samantha. And Samantha, I do hear God saying to you that there's Hallelujah. some things in your life that he wants you to put down and to put in order. He said, draw nigh, draw nigh unto him. Hallelujah. Draw only to him. Mm. Draw only to him. I hear the Lord saying, don't use other vices. Draw only unto him. Mm. Strengthen, strengthen and, and, and enlarge. Enlarge your faith. Hayabasi, allow your faith to be enlarged. Yes, ha, yes, trust yes. him more. Ande la basique de la basia. Hallelujah. And I hear him saying this. If you release this, hallelujah, he will release that. If you release this, mm. he will release that. Mm -hmm. Samantha, 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 draw nigh unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Put down all devices, all vices. Hallelujah. All other things and draw unto him and him alone. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' Amen. name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory Hallelujah. be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Uh, I, I, uh, do you have another one, honey? I, I don't see any other one. I, right I want to just uh, lift up uh, my cousin even now, uh, my cousin Marcella. Uh, who has uh, who has contracted the coronavirus? God, even now, I lift up uh, Marcella. God, I thank you uh, for the woman of God. I thank you for her diligence in serving you. And God, I, I, I again, uh, I I know God is just the the trick of the enemy to uh, have us believe God that uh, that this won't pass. But God, I thank you that she's healed in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. I thank you that by Jesus stripes, uh, she is healed. I Hallelujah. pray that every every atom, every cell, every proton, neutron, electron, everything that is within her internal body, that it will align to the word of God. And I pray, oh God, uh, there won't be any complications, oh God, but I pray that her healing would manifest right now in Jesus' name, and I pray, oh God, as as her healing is manifesting, God, I pray, oh God, that those uh, that may have uh, have may have uh, uh, came into her her presence, God, I just plead the blood of Jesus over them, oh God, that any any kind of testing that they had to uh, to have, oh God, that the results are made negative in the name of Jesus. But I thank you, God, 
for healing my cousin. I thank you, oh God, for strengthening her. And God, as her healing is manifesting, I just pray, oh God, uh, that that uh, that you will impart a a cordero some things into the woman of God, uh, some uh, mm. some plans, oh God, that you still have mm. for her. Uh, uh, some uh, destinies that still need to be fulfilled for her life. And I just pray, God, that she will use this time of resting and reflecting as her healing manifests to be strengthened by you uh, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically. I pray this now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, um, uh, Tiffany, my friend Tiffany is on my mind again this morning. Okay, okay. And um, I, she, I don't know if she's on the line she hadn't said anything but that don't mean she's not watching you know, right. her but um i was on i just feel like the lord wants to say this to you tiffany because even if she's not watching now i know she'll watch later that god is saying he's releasing favor i don't we haven't talked lately but there is something going on in your life right now that you need the favor of god and god is saying that the that he is releasing favor and he's moving in that situation. I just heard him say, Tiffany, favor, favor is upon you. Favor from the north, favor from the south, favor from the east, and favor from the west. Favor is your portion this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And, and uh, as you was thinking about your friend, I was thinking about a high school friend of mine uh, named uh, uh, Albert. Uh, I call him Pearl. <laughs> um, uh, because he was so smooth on the court. Uh, but I, I pray in the name of Jesus uh, that the diagnosis that he received was just a minor setback for a greater comeback uh, in the name of Jesus. And I thank you, God, uh, that his diagnosis uh, also will be reversed in the name of Jesus. And I pray, oh God, that healing uh, would be released oh god and i and i thank you oh god uh that he will that you will restore his skip oh god i pray oh god uh that he will be able to do all the things that you placed on his heart to do without any restrictions without any hindrances oh god i just pray healing to manifest in his body and i thank you god that he still has his joy because he knows oh god his joy comes from you and i just pray that your peace will be released to him now him and his family in jesus name amen amen, amen. i told you tiffany was on the line <laughs> I told you. she didn't say anything but she's Hallelujah. there Hallelujah. praise god so Hallelujah. i prayed that you heard she said thank you so much receive amen, amen. praise god amen. yes amen. the favor of god is up on you hallelujah he's gonna move in your situation hallelujah, hallelujah. Ha hallelujah. oh my god don't doubt it He's with you. He hasn't forsaken you. No matter what it looks like, he got this. He got this. Amen. Hallelujah. And then I see Regina joined us this morning. I saw Tina on the line this morning. Hallelujah. So if you all don't have any other prayer requests, I, I don't see any. Is anything else on your heart, honey? Um, hallelujah. hallelujah. Why don't hey, God, little, since little, I don't little. see any prayer, well, why don't you pray for our leaders this morning, Bishop? Yes, and yes, yes. Uh, even, even now, Jesus. God, I lift up uh, the man of God, uh, Bishop uh, Patrick L. Wooden Sr. I thank you, God, uh, for ordering his steps, oh God, uh, for the steps of a good man are ordered by you. Oh God, I, I thank you, God, for his vision. Oh God, I thank you for his leadership. Oh God, and I thank you for the anointing that is on his life. I pray, God, that you would continue to strengthen him, oh God. I pray that you would continue to use him, oh God, to advance the kingdom, your kingdom here on earth. I also pray, oh God, that you would uh, allow him to operate it, continue to operate in the wisdom of the Holy Spirit as he is a pastor to pastors. I pray, oh God, that you would touch his body and strengthen him. I lift up the woman of God, uh, the, the sweet uh, fragrance uh, that sits beside him in the person of uh, uh, yeah. Pamela Wooden. Oh God, I lift, I thank you for First Lady Wooden. Oh God, I pray for her strength, God. I pray, oh, I thank you for her intercession, oh God, and, and 
and interceding for the man of God. I, I just pray for their entire family, oh God. I pray that a hedge of protection will be around, be around them. I pray, oh God, that every attack, uh, every plot of attack by the enemy, it will be, it will be exposed and it will and it will be uprooted, oh God, and canceled, null and void in the spirit in the name of Jesus. I also pray for Mother Dijanae, yes. oh God. Uh, I thank, thank you, oh God, for the woman of God, uh, a woman of integrity, oh God, uh, uh, a woman that just exudes love, yes. oh God. And I just pray, God, that uh, that you will continue to use her for your glory and for your praise. I thank you for the wisdom uh, that is placed in her mouth. I thank you, oh God, for her consistent encouragement uh, uh, to the body of Christ. I pray, God, uh, that everything that she has put before you, oh God, I, I pray, God, uh, that you would answer her request, oh God. I, I pray, oh God, that you would continue to open up doors doors for her, oh God, to walk through, oh God, uh, to be a blessing to the people of God. I pray, God, that everything that she put her hands to will continue to be blessed and prosper. I just pray for her family, oh God, her grandchildren, her daughter, her children, and her grandchildren in the name of Jesus. And I pray, oh God, that, that you will make her way easy. Amen. I pray that you will make her way easy uh, as she ministers the gospel of Jesus Christ for your glory. I pray this now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And as we get ready to go, there is one other person that came to my heart. Oh, yes. Can you pray for Amber? Um, she basically is operating in rebellion and pray that she would come home and come to Jesus. Hallelujah. Even now, oh God, I just thank you, oh God, that you have watched over Amber, oh God, as uh, she has been deceived by the enemy. Yes. You have not allowed the uh, destruction to be a, a permanent place or permanent fixture in her life. But God, I pray in this season, in this time, God, I pray that you would have angels released, oh God, uh, so that she would so she would be yes. encouraged and ministered to to come back to you. I pray, God, uh, that she will that she will see the error of errors of her ways, oh God, and that she would repent of her sins and accept Jesus Christ as her Lord and Savior. I also pray, oh God, that you will not only protect her from from the enemy, but I pray God that you will protect her even from herself, yes. oh God, until she comes to a place, oh God, where she is submitted to your will and committed, oh God, to fulfilling your destiny and plans for her life. I just plead the blood of Jesus over her right now, and I pray, oh God, that no weapon formed against her shall prosper. I pray this now in the master's name of Jesus Christ, amen. And Father, Amen. we pray that the angels would arrest her. Hallelujah. And bring her back. Hallelujah. In, in, the, name of in the name of Jesus. Arrest her. In the name of Jesus. Angels go forth now. Hallelujah. And arrest Hallelujah. her. Hallelujah. And bring her back Hallelujah. home. Hallelujah. In the name, in the name of the Jesus. We bind the spirit of rebellion. In the name of Jesus. We bind the spirit of rebellion. In the name of Jesus, from operating in her life. And I, I was just thinking about the prodigal son and how the word said he came, when he came, came to, to himself. himself. Yes, yes, yes. Lord, I pray that she will come to herself and return home. In the name of Jesus, we just want to say thank you again for Hallelujah. sharing, for coming in and being a part of 530 a.m. prayer uh, with us this morning. We pray that the Lord has blessed you richly. Thank you. I pray that the word met yes. you where you're at. And um, if you want to register and if you want to become a prayer assassin, all you have to do is go to my website and it's www.sophiamcbride.com. Remember, the class is free. The class is free. Yes. And so this valuable knowledge, you don't want to uh, give up this opportunity to pray for God's people. Hallelujah. And learn, look, and pray for your family. Learn how to pray for your family. Yes. yes and how yes, to yes. pray breakthrough prayers in the name of Jesus. So um, if you want to register, go to my website. The class is free. Amen. Amen. I mean, I don't know what else we can do. Amen. The class Amen. is free. We're Amen. giving it to you. 
All right. And uh, if you have any prayer requests, send it to us. You can just message it, message us on Facebook and we will pray for you. We and the prayer assassins will pray yes, for you. Yes, we will. Yes, All we right. Will. So you don't forget tomorrow night. We got the evangelist Dr. Sabrine Matawa. I'm excited. I'm excited and about. I'm, I'm really excited. She when she's praying, you like, oh my God, you got you know God is in the room. So she's gonna be praying tomorrow night at seven o'clock. We are I so excited you. about that. And so remember, every Friday night, every Monday night, and every Thursday morning. So at seven o'clock, don't be late. You don't want to miss it. And you can go to the Prayer Assassins page and, and go to my page, and you'll catch it. All right. And then share, share. God bless. Love you. Love you guys. <laughs>